this guy's so far like there's you can like even coming here you can see like i'm i kind of started up and this is something i've been working on a lot is is not is not being so kind of compressed but i can see this guy's loading for a shot and you know i'm like this is this guy's so far out here like i don't have that much depth but i know i'm just not going to get beat on a shot here from this guy you know it's just like i just i have too much trust in my ability to see that block so i'm probably pretty deep here but i'm probably i'm also pretty big so um just right angle here and make a clean save into the corner you don't want to you don't want to be giving your your players a bad rebound on on these on these shots that are um so able to be like really able to be controlled you know um so like even if this this one's on the ice you don't want to be kicking this rebound into the slot it's just a grenade for your players everyone's expecting this to go to the corner and just find a way to get it to the corner perfect didn't find a good one off the rush i was talking about the angle thing but that is mm -hmm. i never heard that before and it's something i used to do just not really by accident, but on purpose. I don't want you shooting short side. I'm gonna make a give you a yeah. harder shot. I'll make it look yeah, appealing. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's like so when like yeah, players are coming down the dot lines, I'll I'll definitely line my my sight up. Um so my my outside eye. So in this instance here, if would it be he's coming down the dot line, I'd have the puck lined up on my right eye. Gotcha. Um because the game's a percentage game, so oftentimes, love it, man. Players are going to be trying to shoot short side here, um, because everyone likes that short side rip, and it's especially since he's a righty, it's harder for that shot to come across his body. Um, obviously, if it's a lefty coming down the dot lane into the slot, um, he's going to have a better shooter angle, um. So do but you yeah. change do you change it if it's a lefty coming down this side? Would you stay like dead center? Yeah, on I him? mean it's it, it's different. I think it, in these instances it, it wouldn't be too much of a change. Um it, like this specific one, but, but like let's say shooters are rolling up um or have the puck kind of at the top of the circles or inside the circles near the dots, like maybe on the corners like yeah like somewhere in there um where those players are if it's yeah. a lefty or righty that definitely changes how you're going to want to approach it um just because the, like depending on if they're if he's a righty coming down and dragging you're gonna have to move a little bit with them and maybe stay or stay a little bit more patient um depending on how far he's even going to drag it. Um, Cause lots of guys are really good at throwing it across your body nowadays. And if it's a lefty right there, um, like you're going to want to, you're going to have to have a more, more center centered to your nets just naturally. But, but yeah, it does, it does change how, how you read it and how you play the game. You got to know, especially on rushes, you have to you got you're gonna have to know if it's lefties or righties or what sides they're on um just based on knowing how far you're gonna have to push initially you know you just like oh that's a lefty you already know where the puck's gonna be going yeah. onto what what kind of a blade you know um yeah. so that's just kind of giving yourself the best percentage chance to try and save a puck you know <laughs> it's hard out there I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all